Drive Car of the Year 2021, and of course now it's time to have a look at the small luxury car category. We've done the research, as you would expect us to do, and there are 4,632 different grades and variations of luxury cars in Australia. That's only a little bit of an exaggeration. There's a hell of a lot, so this is gonna be particularly difficult, but we've got three of Germany's finest on offer for this test. We have the Audi A3, it's a perennial favorite. Australian buyers love it. We've got the BMW 1 Series, and we also have the Mercedes-Benz A-Class. This one is gonna be one the judges are gonna to have to go over with a fine tooth comb, and right here on track is gonna be a big part of it. True to BMW's legacy as a builder of driver-focused models, the 1 Series hatch keeps a focus on sportiness, despite having made the switch from rear to front-wheel drive in this generation. The range opens with a 103kW 3-cylinder 1.5-litre engine and moves up to the sportier 2-litre 4-cylinder models with either 180kW and front-wheel drive or 225kW and all-wheel drive. Pricing spans from 47900 for the entry model up to 70900 for the performance flagship. M Sport styling and 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels are standard, along with leather trim steering wheel, climate control, LED headlights, head up display, and a pair of 10.25 inch screens, one for infotainment and one for the instrument display. BMW's driver assistance tech covers live speed limit recognition, rear cross traffic alert, and city speed autonomous emergency braking, plus six airbags. With the 1 Series, all the judges really agreed that BMW have stepped up their sporty interior, from the really nice feel of the steering wheel to the sporty seats. One negative is there are so many buttons in this centre console. I counted and there's 16 here, plus the dedicated aircon controls and the ones that are on the steering wheel. However, the LCD display is really nice and clear and gives a whole real luxury sporty feel to this one. BMW markets itself as the choice for the driving enthusiast, using the ultimate driving machine tagline around the world. As such, you'd expect the 1 Series to be dynamically capable and well-balanced. The judges found that it is exactly that on the track, with sharp steering, accurate response, balance at any speed, and an engaging chassis. 1 Series has that go-kart-like feel that all great small cars have, and is as much fun as it is practical. While Mercedes-Benz might be best known for its iconic flagship limousines, the A-Class hatch and sedan aim to bring some of that same luxury to the small car class. The range covers 1.3 and 2-litre engines, plus plug-in hybrid and high-performance all-wheel drive AMG models, covering outputs from 100 kilowatts and 200 newton metres up to a massive 310 kilowatts and 500 newton metres, handled through 7 and 8-speed dual-clutch automatics. Pricing starts at 45,100 for the A180 and rises to $94,920 for the AMG A45S, which features in our best performance car category under $100,000. In the regular models, you'll find dual 10.25 inch screens, LED headlights, sports seats with leather look upholstery, climate control, and push button start. The safety count covers nine airbags, driver attention monitoring, city speed autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring and active lane keep assist. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class is a real standout in its category. All the judges really liked the stylish and well thought out design that's been executed beautifully. All the way from the luxury ambient mood lighting to the storage options with wireless charging and touchpad in the centre console. And there's also touch points on the steering wheel. Now the infotainment system, the MBUX, is executed wonderfully. It works well, especially with the Hey Mercedes functionality. A little bit of a negative with this one though, it does warrant an afternoon to read the manual to get the most out of this car. The judges found that the A-Class also delivers well during emergency testing, as you'd expect of a vehicle with all-wheel drive underpinnings. In fact, the judges thought the all-wheel drive capability added to the dynamic experience you get from the A-Class, regardless of how hard you're pushing it. While it doesn't feel quite as sharp and responsive as the BMW, it's well-balanced, sure-footed and capable. Wet or dry, the A250 is a reassuring small car in a highly competitive segment. Well, we said this one was going to be a tough one for the judges to work out, and you know what? It was. It absolutely was. And it's crucial to note that there's nothing wrong with any of the three contenders in this category, but the winner 
is the Audi A3. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, it's probably the oldest car here. It doesn't really matter, it's actually the best all rounder and it's incredibly good value for money. And that's what comes into it. There's a lot of good things about this category, but when it comes to the A3, it's the best value for money and it's a really, really solid, well put together all rounder. It's our best small luxury car for 2021. The Audi A3's comprehensive range covers hatch, sedan, and uniquely for the segment, a convertible. Pricing starts from $40,700 for the hatch range or $42,300 for the sedan. But by the time you reach the high performance hero models, it tops out at just over $86,000. The mainstream models are the ones we're focusing on here, offering a choice of a 110 kilowatt 1.4 litre or 140 kilowatt 2 litre turbocharged engines. A seven-speed dual-clutch automatic sends power to the front wheels, or all four, in the two-litre Quattro version. Standard equipment highlights include 18-inch alloy wheels, a digital instrument cluster, leather upholstery, and keyless entry and start. Blind spot monitoring with approaching vehicle warning, rear cross-traffic alert, a rear camera with sensors, seven airbags, and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection are also included as standard. The Audi A3 story is one of enduring quality. Inside the cabin, compared to the best and newest in the segment, it is starting to feel its age, but it doesn't mean it feels old. And while the Audi isn't as bright and shiny as the A-Class, for example, what it does have works and works well. On the dynamic test loop, the A3 exhibits all the strong points of a quality Audi chassis. It's balanced and reassuring, capable of being pushed hard without raising a sweat. The judges like the solid steering weight, sharp turn-in and well-controlled weight transfer at speed. During our testing of urban running with some highway stretches, the 40 TFSI S-Line variant showed an indicated 6.2 litres per 100 kilometres of fuel use. Despite being the oldest contestant here among the three finalists, the judges have named the Audi A3 as the drive car of the year, best small luxury car for 2021. It's an old package for sure, but it's a high quality one that does exactly what the intended buyer will expect and with strong value to boot. Don't forget to hit like if you've enjoyed this video. Click on subscribe to stay up to date and head to drive.com.au for more car of the year results.